Utah law enforcement officers who have been killed in the line of duty are being honored in Moab today. It's all part of the annual Fallen Officer Trail Ride, where family members say knowing their loved ones are still being remembered means everything. News specialist Alex Cabrera joins us live at the state capitol, where a memorial means they will never be forgotten. Alex? Yeah, there are more than 100 names on this wall, Dan and Debbie. Officers who have given their lives in the line of duty here in Utah from the 1800s to the early to mid-1900s to even in recent years, people like Cody Brotherson, Eric Ellsworth, and Joseph Shinners. Now, that trail ride in Moab, it's similar to what's being done here, but yet in a very different way. Weekends in Moab are usually full of people heading out to have some fun. This weekend was no different, except it included a helicopter, gunshots, and bagpipes. All of it was to honor and remember Utah law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. It's really cool to see these kind of things happen and know that, yeah, he is going to be remembered. Carrie Vincent is the widow of Brigham City Assistant Police Chief Dennis Vincent, who died while on the job in 2018. This ATV ride is on the Fallen Peace Officer Trail, where at every mile marker there is a photo of an officer who died in the line of duty, as well as a little story about them. Vincent is one of those honored this year by the Utah Peace Officers Association, as well as about a dozen others. I told my son, I said, this is where it really becomes a reality for us that they really are going to be remembered. South Salt Lake Officer David Romrell was also honored this year. He died in 2018 when his son was just an infant. These last few months, he's been talking about his dad a lot. And we were out on the trail and we saw his mile marker and his picture on there. And I, was, I asked him, who is that? And he said, it's daddy. And I'm like, why are we here? And he's like, to remember daddy. Anyone can go on this trail at any time of the year, but it's only during this event where pictures are part of it. This is also the first year a canine was honored, Dingo, who was killed in the line of duty in 2017 while with Unified Police. His former handler is happy to see him included. Instead of adding another mile to it, they, they put the, the canine honoree at the very beginning and titled it a century. So the the canine kind of watches over the ride. This ride has been put off for two years because of COVID concerns, but it's now back and families say it's what makes this Moab weekend extra special. I know it took a long time, but I'm so grateful that it was it meant enough for them to keep going and get it through. Yeah, that trail ride, it honors all those officers. They do about a dozen every year. They do a different group of officers every year. But the idea behind it all is to honor those officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice, similar to what's being done here at the Capitol, where all their names are listed, those who died in the line of duty. Dan and Debbie. What a great tribute. Thanks.